Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19 and our little restart here on Felsborough. As you may notice, I have uh, added a shed to the property. This is a mod that I picked up. And I have filled it. Well, not filled it, but I have added some suitable equipment. We have a modded version of the Agrisum Cultiplow Platinum. This one put together by Stevie. Difference with this guy, it will allow you to create fields. We have this gorgeous little cultivator here. And a familiar piece of equipment from FS17, the Vatterstat 600. Nice bit of gears. So we've got our cedars and our plows and our cultivators. I had also put down a set of silos, but I did pick them back up and sell them. Um, like there was a calcium one, uh, a calcium, a lime one, um, a seed one, etc. I've added a tractor to our fleet, a little tiny New Holland, fairly inexpensive, but I wanted a loader so that we could deal with our silage. I have finished the grass, the silage thing is covered. Let's uh, quickly yog up there. We have a little bit of a uh, little bit of overflow, as you can see, and these lumps are actually caused by me cleaning up this overflow. Yeah, it was out to like here, so the other end's the same as well. But as you can see, we are fermenting silage, and there is. Although it doesn't look huge, there is a fair bit under here, let me tell you. I think just shy of 200, like 180,000 liters, I'm going to say. It was either 168,000 or 180,000. So. Anyway, enough that I think we should do really well when we sell it. Uh, another reason to have that little loader. So that we can load Z trailer and then drag the trailer to the barn and sell all of that goodness. All right. Oh, I've also picked us up a harvester. Sort of middle of the road. Well, actually, high end of the small guys. Let's just say that. It is pretty much the high end of the small guys. With a suitable header system. There we are. Wolowski and Wawa. I didn't pick up a trailer for them because, quite frankly, what a pain in the butt. But uh, I suppose that I should because I do intend on doing contracts. Now, I have been warned by my good friend Driz that that may not be all as rosy as it's cracked up to be. But you know how it is. I'm uh, going to have to stick my own foot in it and just find out what's going on. So here's an interesting uh, thing. As you can see, I have uh, plowed the heck out of this field. So, uh, yeah. Purdy in it. This was our grass field, and will be again. Um, here's the weirdness. You see this. Now, this is a row of lime that I just put down with this tractor and this machine. And I did go all the way to the top. This is the only place we can actually see it. Now, it's not asking us for lime, but then again, for some reason, the game thinks that we should plant before we lime. And I'm sorry, I, I <laughs> you know, even if I end up with not quite as high a crop, I'm not going to do that. But here's the weird thing. As you can see, the only place the lime is showing is on the edge of the field. Hmm. Now, problem. I don't know if that's a because I'm doing this out of Giant's order, or because this is in fact a modified spreader. But, I'll show you what it does. The first thing it does a little different, let's, you know, get the tractor running. You'll see it has and unfold. Now, this isn't very realistic, but until they get GPS, by God, it helps. Do you see those little things? Let's have a closer look. The little markers there, they sort of float in the air, but they do tell you what the spread is. So you can at least get yourself lined up and go, okay, I'm not going to waste my very valuable stuff outside the edges. 
So that's the first thing it does. The other thing it does is I don't think the other small ones throw lime. I think they only throw fertilizer. But, well, I suppose, all things considered, watch. Alright, so, good, right? We're all good. I'm going to follow the line. Now, notice, oddly enough, it does dip down. See what I mean? Now again, you can see the line at the top, where I did, in fact, spray the lime. Just very, 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 very faintly. But it's there. Alright, let's turn that off. We don't have very much left, obviously. But we only need enough to do one more row, which we don't have, I'm sure. But, oh well. Now, get approximately... Whoa, that is one steep hill. Yeah, and we're done. Okay. Now that's going to be a bit of an issue because I have no idea where that one was. We'll buy one more uh, baggie of lime here, shall we? Kind of convenient, uh, having the shop as your neighbor. <laughs> Although, like I said, and here, I'll show you guys. Yes, go ahead, just in case something screwed up, right? You'll see, I do own. Well, I own all the area around the shop is the deal, right? Right down to the little parking space that I'm using. I do own that. I'm not stealing that from them. I own it, you know. This front lot area, well, we all actually own all of that. So I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not treading on their toes. No siree, I own this area through here. So, oh, that's between the buildings. No, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I own this parking lot out here. Oops. Oh. Well, here you go. Ignore everything I just said. This is the parking lot I own. This is where I should be parking my stuff. I will do that. Oh, is that an actual fuel tank? I believe that's an actual fuel tank. Well, well, well. Talk about your bonuses. Alright, let's, uh... Buy us a bag, shall we? One big bag coming up. One big bag of... Lime. Yes, please. Yes, I, I, I really do. Okay. Pop open the cover, get within range, and there we go. So yeah, like I said, I'm just not sure if that is some sort of a visual glitch, and if so, what's causing it. Or whether the game simply, you know, Giants has decided that, uh, You shall not lime! I don't know. I don't know. But what we're going to do here is to take a quick zip up to the top of the hill. Yeah, I accidentally dragged something through there. Entirely unintentional. Pretty happy with this tractor so far, I gotta say. Pretty happy indeed. It had no issues at all dragging that uh, 8 meter plow up the hill. Now that's so oh, okay. <laughs> no issues at all, he says. Um, in fact, <laughs> yeah, in fact, um, I've upgraded it. There was one larger engine size available. Yeah. And I have gone with that. And it was not cheap. Um, I think our tractor's worth like 30k more now or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, ducky. Get up here. Yeah, it looks to be about right, judging from the tracks. So...
Now, I do quite like this mod, so I'm hoping it's not, uh... But yeah, there's just something so visually wrong with that. I don't have a lot of money to play with, either. So, picking up another one to try the difference may not be a... thing. Alright. And like I said, you can see it down on the edge of the field. Alright, well, what I'm gonna do... I don't know here. Six percent, yeah, it's barely got anything in it. Um... Hopefully this one will unload. D, 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 no way, eh? okay, if I open it up, oh, not enough space to, un not enough space, where the heck are you trying to unload this, man, all right, well, 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 um, okay, if I park right here... Now will you unload? Not enough space. Interesting. <laughs> All right, I'm just not going to have too much of a sense of humor about this for much longer. Um, All right, look. Middle of freaking nowhere. Holy cow, look at that. Our crop is uh, cropifying here. I mean, if we have to move these... We have to move these. Not enough space. What the heck, man? How much space do you need? Good lord. Um. Okay, covers open. I mean, it's only going to be one container. There's 207 liters in there. Um. Do I need to maybe lower this down? Would that help your, uh, day? No. Nope. Huh, not enough space. Again, not enough space to unload. Huh. I'm starting to think it's the mod. Dang. I don't have that much money to just fool about with. Man, that green seems to be ripening quickery. Alright, let's see what... Do, 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 do. I mean, yeah, okay, I like that feature, but if that's... You're that much of a one-trick pony. I wonder, now that, that that's two of these I've had that wouldn't unload. I wonder if there's something in the whole mod deal that, you know, just isn't quite doing what it should be doing. And I know I explained that incredibly well, didn't I? Um, alright. See, there's a stock one. You'll notice it only does furt. Now, that one will do both. It's will be more money. Uh, and that one. See, that's the one that I was using, that mod. All right. And there's the one that we used in... 
that was Stevie's mod, and that would not unload either. So how about we try the smaller breedle? Uh, extensions, eh? Oh, right, so it'll carry more. What does it currently want to be doing? 9,000, eh? Hmm. Don't you love that they sell the fertilizer in, uh, even numbers, and they build these things in odd numbers? It's like that whole hot dog and the bun thing all over again, you know? So how much are extensions, and what will they do for me? A small one, 11,000. See? <laughs> Oh, two hundred and fifty dollars. That's nothing. A big one. Fourteen thousand. Well, at least now it is even, right? Spreader system. We can go discs, or we can go that thing. So what's six meter? So what's the difference? It's still gonna fire at twelve meters, right? Oh, that adds six meters. Oh. Well, aren't you a monkey? And narrow tires. Houston, we have a spreader. A little bit of dollars. Half our freaking money, darn near. But that's okay. I am confident that we're going to do nothing but make money from here on out, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. I just have to uh, <clears throat> spend a little more money here first. All right, big bags, big bags. Um, yeah. Oh, a thousand liters, and it's sixteen hundred bucks, eh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're just a little too far away to recognize the other one. There you go. In you get. Man, they don't even dent it, eh? Yikes. Ooh, look at this. Alright, let's head up. All right. Hmm. I don't really understand why it's 50% fertilized after I've plowed it. Is that consistent across the board? Hmm. Apparently. So it's certainly nothing to do with the liming I did. Alright. Okay. Well, you can certainly see that that's, uh, See? Doing as it should. Looks like that was a pretty good guess for where I wanted to be on the field as well. Wow. I'm impressed. And it's not being too horrible about how quickly it chews through our product. Nice. Alrighty.
Perhaps it was a good choice. I would still like to lime it before um, I hit it with a cultivator, though. You know? So we are going to try that again next. Um, yeah. Yes, indeed, we are. Hope everyone's enjoying your weekend. I would think it, this should be going up, or I guess enjoyed your weekend. I do have one other episode already in the can, so I guess this won't go up till Sunday night, even though it is uh, Saturday as I record this. That's incredible, the climbing ability of this tractor. It's excellent. No complaints at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she got some good brakes too, man. There we go. Let's get the last of us. Not bad at all. We've used less than 300 liters so far. So that's pretty good. And we'll just get to the end here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That just seemed the uh, the better answer there, you know? It just did. Now there is something... Whoops, I didn't even notice there was another car coming. There is something else I do need to check out. I was uh, told by one of my viewers that a really good flat field, which is something we will be getting once we start, you know, stop spending money and start making money, which I guess it's a good theory, isn't it? So far I haven't demonstrated it. But... Uh, we are going to want to get some flat real estate to try and put a, uh, an aminal facility or two into. So, it was suggested that the spot to be field 12. Oh, really, man? Look at the size of that. That's probably how many hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of dollars? Eh, 453, so yeah, it'd be a while. But generally, if there's a good flat area, you'll find some, like, what's this one? 192. See, I think I've got enough money in silage to buy that thing. Hmm. But we'll have to go down and give those a visit in the very near future. As I said, we will certainly... we got this little piece here, eh? 128. And those are both fairly inexpensive. But, I mean, yeah, we have $50,000 at the moment. So. I just want to see what our... Uh, our ready to harvest. Needs plowing. Well, I suggest we harvest and then plow, but, you know, that's just me. All right, and you, sir, 100% fertilized. All right, well, God, I'd still like to try and lime it, but, um, How much of an absolute issue are you going to give us about setting a couple of uh, bits down? Hmm? Hopefully none. Hopefully none at all. Now I can understand if it does it here, honestly, because this isn't really our property. So... 
shouldn't really be that fussy. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to really say now that it was the mod. Yeah. Wow. Alright, and we have a little bit of fertilizer left, which is a nice thing. A nice thing. Alright, let's... Uh, gotta know. Indeed. No, oh, oh, yeah. Bugger. Hmm. No indicator on this one of its uh, fill levels. And let's get the last one into it, shall we? Put our little feet out. Excellent. Okay. That's about all I wanted to see. Hmm. It appears it's not going to let us do it. Well, we have a term for that, <laughs> but I'm too nice to say what it is. Let's go try out our new harvester, shall we? And then that should uh, pretty much get us to the end of the episode. Come on, tuck in there nice and sweet. There you go, look at that. Getting a little more used to the backup system here. It has definitely changed a little bit since FS17. It's a little uh, a little more sensitive. Might be a little closer to uh, how it should be, I suppose. I suppose. But... Uh, Alright. Ooh, I'm gonna spend five grand on a hose and bucket here pretty soon. How's that for enthusiasm? Come on, we're gonna go strap your head on. Yeah, it's not the most cheerio place for those but we can deal with it at least it did unload it and I'm pretty sure it'll unload the lime as well okay um, yeah I'm gonna take a little bit more uh, anybody coming no good we should have time to sneak up the road Yeah, 
Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now, let's, uh, do we have to unfold the, uh, doesn't look like it, eh? Interesting. Hmm. Well, it's a different sort of, uh... Hmm. Well, it's a different sort of header, isn't it? Indeed. Okay. Um What's going on here? Cuz I'm not gathering any crop. Why is there... It's a corn header, what the heck? Why do I even have that? That's... Oh, I must have... Uh, clipped the wrong button, because I looked up which header was for this thing. And I'll bet you that... Uh, I just accidentally clipped the wrong buy button. Oh, man. Because I have a corn header. The right one for it, too. By the way. So, oh, we could sneak through there. Well, there you go. Well, I hope we're going to have enough money to fix this little issue. Because there's our corn header right there. Oh. Well, I'm not going to be making money this way, I'll tell you. Capello Helianthus. Alright. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Headers. Now this is the one that I needed for it. This, the PowerStream 500. Ah, uh, yeah, I must have been reading the PowerStream 500 and not realized I was actually on this thing. Because, yeah, as you can see, Nova 330, which is the one we have. All right, well, we are going to buy this, yes. Okay. And, whoa. Oh, <laughs> that cement truck, it looked like something was floating over the top of those. Uh, uh, where's the silly thing? Oh, I'm standing on it. That's why I can't find it. Yeah, we're going to have to sell that. All right. Good lord. Oh, another little costly error. <laughs> like running into your own trailer, isn't it? Okay. Well, this isn't quite the uh, cheery big bugger that the other one was, either. That's okay. Now that I've driven over the first 50 feet of my crop and completely destroyed it anyway, why would we care? <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> I fell out. 
Whoops. Oh, man. I don't know what's the matter with me sometimes. And then away we go. We don't have uh, disabled. No, it's on. Good. There we are. Plenty of dust and abusive looking bits and pieces. We must be doing it right now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like you guys don't come here to watch me crash anyway. So, <laughs> there you are. We've had one perfect, uh, perfect segment to the thing. And with that, guys, well... I'm going to uh, continue on with my little project here, or maybe I'll even leave most of it until the next time, since we didn't really get to do much, did we? So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please uh, remember to hit that like button on your way out. If you didn't enjoy the episode, you're welcome to hit the I did not like that button, and of course, uh, leave a comment telling me what particular piece of foolishness uh, you disliked. Till next time, though, and of course, most importantly at all, Am I going to make the end of the row here? No, oh, probably. Take care of each other, folks. <laughs> and ciao. For now. Come on, I have to take my hand off the trigger. There we go.